I just watched something that um, I'm having a little technical issues, but it's okay. Um, I, I think the most sobering assessment that um, someone sent to me was this doctor. Um, his name is um, David Price at a Cornell hospital in, in New York. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to post this video. You have to watch it with your family. If you guys are really nervous and you're scared, this will set you at ease. It, it really will. Um, some of the things that he is saying. Um, he's saying hands to face. Hands to face. If you shake somebody's hand that might be asymptomatic or has the virus, if you shake their hand and you put your hands to your face, you're going to get it. I want you all to take note of how many times that you just accidentally, without thinking about it, touch your face, your eyes, and your nose. He said basically 95 to 98% of the why you get it is hands to face. If you go out and you touch something, hands to face. You you, you got to be conscientious about that. That is the big thing. Um, everybody's talking about the aerosol droplets that are in the air when somebody's sneezing and so forth. The man says that you have to have sustained contact with somebody in a closed room for 15 to 30 minutes before you can become infected with the droplets. It's harder to get it through the air than it is shaking somebody's hand, touching someone that has it. Now, this guy, Dr. Price, is an ICU doctor. He's the person who determines whether you go on a ventilator or not. He says, we have three months and we know what this thing is, and we know what it does. He says COVID-19 is a wimp because if you do a little splash of Perel on your hands and wipe your hands, it kills it immediately. Can't handle it. He says, I go into the hospital every day, and I'm dealing with a 1,000 patients. And he says, hey, I'm not worried about ever getting the virus. And the reason why I'm not worried about it is because I know how to protect myself. I thought this was the best public service announcement that I've heard from any credible doctor. And he breaks it down. So I'm going to post that. Hands to face. He says that's how everybody is getting it. And you don't even know that you're doing it. I went into the store the other day and my eye was itching. And people thought I may have had some kind of nervous twitch or something. I was not going to touch my eyes, even though I had gloves on. Because with the gloves, you can touch something. Go to your face. Boom. This is important. Perel kills. Sustained contact. That's why if you're on an airplane with somebody in a closed-in space and they have corona, if you're there more than 15 to 30 minutes, you can get it. Unless you got a mask on, he said sometimes those masks aren't all that effective. But it's hands to face. Which brings up the issue that I have. I have a big problem with the governor of Florida. You've probably heard me say this. This guy has yet to issue a statewide stay-at-home order. If we're going to beat this and not lose 250,000 lives, Everybody has to do the exact same thing. Just because it's not heavily in your community, it is coming. And that's what the guy said. It is coming. But you can protect yourself and your children. But they're saying, well, in Florida, it hasn't hit every part of the state. Ron DeSantis, you're a jerk, man. I'm just, I hate to call your name. But a majority of your citizens are senior citizens. And don't go for the okie doke. That is just seniors that are getting it. Everybody gets it from age 14 to 104. There are at least 30 states that are not telling people to stay at home. 30 states doing business as usual. GameStop considers themselves essential. Uh, They're taking some precautions in the stores, but I'm not so sure how essential it is. But you have to remember, hands 
to face. That's why they're saying you wash your hands. It doesn't have to be antibacterial soap. It can be regular soap. You wash your hands. It kills the virus. You cannot put it into your, your body. That is the most sobering assessment that I have heard, and it will save lives if we all did that. At some point, we're going to probably have to wear a mask. If anything, while you're at home, design some cool mask, y'all, while you got time on your hands. You might be able to sell them. But at the end of the day, hands to face is how we get it. And I take that from a doctor who's working on the front lines. Florida, Florida needs to get it together and all these other states. We have to do it in a uniform fashion. That's the way we're going to beat the virus. That's my rant.